Chopper 2 over the southbound Q train where MTA workers surround the second car that derailed between Sheepshead Bay and Brighton Beach just before 9 a.m. Just a big bang and uh, like a loud screeching noise and then people were yelling and uh, within five minutes, fire trucks, ambulance, everybody was pulling up. The MTA says 135 people were stuck on board for about 30 minutes before they were evacuated through another train and onto the Sheepshead Bay platform. There were no reported injuries and at least they had air conditioning. What we call a reach train was able to pull in directly behind the incident train that had derailed. In like 30, 40 people coming outside the train station and they were like yelling and they were crying. From here, passengers were put on shuttle buses to finish out the rest of their commute, as were passengers on other southbound Q trains whose train rides ended at Kings Highway. This was just supposed to be like a one hour train ride that is now approaching two hours. <laughs> Wish us luck. The MTA sucks. These riders were trying to get to Coney Island, but the last minute shuttle provided by the MTA left them stuck, only going as far as Sheepshead Bay. In fact, the first shuttle was crowded. We got on the second shuttle. Uh, and they just let us off here, and now we're not sure what's happening. We're trying to decide if we want to walk, if we want to take an Uber. We just want to go to the beach. City Council Speaker Melissa Mark Viverito says today's derailment made clear that the MTA is in dire need of increased funding. The trains did start getting so much better, and now I feel that it's just going backwards again. Whether backwards or at a standstill, these commuters say lately it feels the subway is going every way except forward. In Sheepshead Bay, Brooklyn, Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News. The MTA is still investigating what caused that derailment.